Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. Let's get right into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of August 2020. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2020. All right. All right, Geminis. Okay, so what they're saying here is for for the majority of you guys, what they're saying is for those of you guys that have been experiencing or have been wanting to do or work on some type of project, something new that you're trying to create, whether it's a new business, uh, whether it's an idea, whether it's uh, money that you're investing and putting on the side to uh, do some type of uh, like a side job, anything like that, what they're saying is keep it to yourself, okay? That's going to be the, the message for this month of August. Keep it to yourself. Anything that starts off as a baby idea, anything that starts off as something that you're very passionate and very intense about and you're wanting to create or you're wanting to make happen, or if you're planning something like any type of endeavor, any type of new endeavor, I should say, keep it to yourself, okay? Why? Because you don't want other people influencing your ideas or influencing your energy or even kind of bursting your bubble and uh, trying to, you know, just be negative, negative towards you in regards to what you're trying to pursue. Um, I see a lot of people around you that are like looking at you or looking very closely at what you're doing uh, and, not, and not in a positive way. I feel that this is people that are very, uh, very like people that like to spread rumors or people that like to be all up on everyone's business and they're just talking about it you don't want that type of energy and what they're saying is remove yourself from that energy so as an example uh if you shared your ideas or something that you're thinking or you're wanting to do or even try out and you've already experienced like a backlash like people telling you what you're crazy that's not gonna work out or you shouldn't even waste your money investing in that whatever it is don't listen to them, Gemini. Listen to your intuition because what they're saying here is, yes, it's something that is starting off as an idea, but between an idea and a materialization, meaning seeing the fruits of your labor, takes action to get you from point A to point B. You need to start taking actions and stop procrastinating is what they're saying, okay? Yes, you may have a momentum of ideas and things you want to accomplish and sitting there talking about them is not going to make it happen sooner or happen, period, if there's no action behind it. So what they're telling you is stop talking about it and start doing. Stop oversharing with people that are not really wanting to bring positive energy towards you. Instead, they're criticizing or, you know, spreading rumors or saying whatever it is that they're saying. What they're telling you is let, let's remove ourselves from this negative circle, right? And let's start planting the seeds of what we want to happen to be able to see the fruits of your labor. And now is the time to stop, like I said, stop procrastinating, stop talking about it and start doing. So what they're saying is ultimately stick to your word. If you say you're going to do something, do it. Do it not because of anything else other than you owe yourself that much. Um, so again, very, very important keep yourself away from negative people or keep yourself away from even telling or sharing uh, the moves you're making with people because you don't want that to deter you or to even allow people to bring in their energy towards what you're trying to do. If you remain focused and you nurture this seed, you will be able to reap the rewards, okay? Because this is in your near future position and it's a pretty big shell. So what they're saying is, there is major changes that are going to be happening, major transitions that are going to be happening, but you need to stop procrastinating and start taking actions towards that. Now, we're going to be pulling out three cards here uh, to be able to see what energies are going to be influencing you for this month. All right. 
so we have venus the ninth house and saturn saturn is uh the planet that rules capricorn which is capricorn is on the 10th house uh so we have ninth house here so again um anything that has to do with your finances that has to do with uh money with opportunities keep that to yourself okay don't let people know stop talking about it and start doing a gemini now you do have venus so for some of you guys uh, especially those of you guys that are single or have been single for a while love is around you um try not to be so try not to be so uh what's the word i'm looking for uh don't become rigid in regards to love yes we've all been hurt we've all gone through difficulties but don't become cynical about love okay uh, with the Venus card is really opening your heart chakra. It's being true to yourself. It represents beauty, harmony, romance, charm, receiving sensuality, luxury, wealth, diplomacy, um, magnetism, value, pleasure, adornment, adoration. So I feel that for some of you guys, there may be a person that is around you or someone that definitely has their eye on you. Um, but I think that, again, there's a bit of resistance there on your part. It could be because you're still healing or because you're going through uh, some difficulties. Perhaps you haven't been over an ex. Perhaps you're still dealing with an ex. Perhaps you're still with the person that is not right for you. Um, but what they're saying here is keep your open heart and an open mind towards love. Uh, you do have the ninth house here, seeking. Uh, this is the uh, this is the house that represents everything foreign travel adventure higher education uh, customs faith beliefs uh, i feel that for some of you guys it could be like spiritual quest for some of you guys it could be that uh, you're secretly um you could be secretly like interested in a new religion in a new practice um you're just wanting to grow or you're wanting to travel you're wanting to experience new life itself but i think that the energy of the ninth house has more to do with things that are things that are unaware not unaware things that are foreign to you and for some of you guys it could be that the person that is interested in you is foreign now it doesn't necessarily mean that they have to be from a different country but it could be that they come from very different belief system very different background family dynamic completely different and there is a there is healing that comes with that connection for some of you guys now with saturn for some of you guys you may be dealing with a libra for others you may be dealing with a capricorn as saturn is the ruling planet of saturn um sorry saturn is the ruling planet of capricorn but this can also represent the saturn energy that we have right now now keep in mind uh you know capricorn does have saturn there has jupiter has uh, pluto right now so again a lot of major transformations are happening and with the saturn energy this is discipline it's structure it's time it's responsibility it's ambition so it's again we go back to that of saturn is the planet that tells you okay gemini you've been working hard or have you hardly been working what is it that you've been doing and if you have been working hard stick to what you're doing and you will definitely see the results because saturn is a very very uh what's the word i'm looking for saturn is like the father figure but it's also the father figure that you know you can't get away uh, or you cannot keep them content without discipline discipline is very important for saturn so again taking on this energy in order for you to be able to succeed or in order for you to see the manifestation of what you're trying to do it's only going to come through diligence and uh structure it's going to come through discipline above everything so it's sticking to what you're doing and not giving up okay all right, Geminis, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.